In this video, we will learn about how to install drywall installation gypsum panels yourself in very simple and easy steps while explaining all the tools used so follow us to the end of the video. How to install drywall in the house explore this article. Parts. 1. Selecting your drywall. 2. Inspecting the installation site. 3. Measuring and cutting drywall for the ceiling. For measuring and cutting drywall for the wall.5 mudding and taping drywall. How much does it cost to install soundproof drywall? On the high end, you can install 1,000 square feet. Of one half, finished soundproof drywall in a remodel for $7,500. Drywall has a range of installation costs, depending mostly on the drywall type and job size. Most drywall installers charge less per square foot for entire house drywall installations than for small installations. How to put screws in drywall Don't be tempted to use your cordless screwdriver or regular drill to drive drywall screws. Neither will give you the precise depth control you need for trouble-free fastening. Use a screw gun instead. They're reasonably priced and available at home centers and tool retailers. Photo 1 shows how to adjust the screw gun to set screws at the correct depth. Practice driving screws on a scrap of drywall or in a closet to get. Start by placing a screw on the magnetic driver tip. Then line up the screw with the center of the framing and squeeze the trigger to bring the driver up to speed. After the motor is running full speed, press straight in and don't release the pressure until the clutch starts to ratchet. You'll know by the clattering sound it makes. Press against the drywall while you drive in screws. Don't release the pressure until you've driven two or three screws into the framing to distribute the load. Crooked studs or puffed out insulation can prevent the drywall from lying tightly against the studs. If the gap is too large, the screw head will pop through rather than pulling the drywall tight. How many screws per sheet of drywall? By one and a quarter inches. Coarse thread drywall screws to attach 3 8 inch, half an inch, and 5 8 inch drywall to wood framing. Use fine thread screws to attach drywall to steel studs. To answer the question, how many screws per sheet of drywall? It all depends how big the piece of drywall is. But the most important part is to place screws 12 inches. A part where the ends or edges of sheets but at framing members, and along each framing member in the center of the sheet. Don't use longer screws unless you're screwing through soft material like foam insulation into the underlying framing. The screws should only penetrate the wood 5 eighths to 3 quarters in. Any deeper and they'll be prone to popping later. For a speedier job, Take a tip from the pros and tack the perimeter of the sheets with several ring shank drywall nails to hold it. Then, return to drive the screws. This saves you the hassle of carrying the screw gun around while you're supporting the heavy drywall. Provide solid backing on edges before hanging screw 2 times 4 backing. At the intersection of walls and ceiling if it's missing. Drill clearance holes at an angle through the top plate. Then, drive 3 inches. Drywall screws into the 2 times 4 while you hold it down with your other hand. Inspect inside corners where walls intersect and along the top of walls where they meet the ceiling. The goal is to provide at least 3 quarters in of exposed framing to drive screws into. If you can't swing a hammer in tight spots, screw in blocking with. Keep a few lumber scraps handy so you can add backing on the fly if necessary. 
Avoid missed screws by marking all framing members before you start hanging drywall. Mark the ceiling framing on the top plate of the walls. Avoid climbing a ladder by taping a pencil to the end of a stick and using this to mark the framing. Then after the ceiling drywall is hung, mark the centers of the wall studs on the ceiling drywall. It's frustrating to have to guess where framing members are after they're covered with drywall. Avoid this hassle by marking all the framing members before you start hanging the drywall. Mark the center of each ceiling framing member on the top plate of the walls. After you hang the ceiling drywall, mark the wall stud centers on the ceiling drywall and on the floor. Use a pencil when marking on drywall. Ink from markers and pens will bleed through the paint. Even with careful preparation, you'll occasionally miss a stud, drive a screw too deep or have trouble driving a screw deep enough. The screws don't usually back out easily. Photo 1 shows one method of removing screws with your screw gun.